Hello baseball fans! Hope everybody's staying safe out there. I know I say this over and over again, but if you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. Brand new YouTuber, just over two months into this, so you hitting subscribe really helps me grow, and I appreciate everybody who joins me on this journey early on. So today I thought we could talk about an interesting free agent. In fact, the biggest free agent, somebody I saved right to the end, and that's no other than Trevor Bauer. Yes, Mr. Cy Young winner himself. Now, a little bit about Trevor, if you don't know, he's going to be 30 years old going into the next season, and 2020 was just remarkable for him. That's when he, that's when he won the Cy Young Award, and let's look at his numbers. He went 5-4 and four with a crazy 1.73 ERA. That's what led to the Cy Young, obviously. 73 innings pitched and a 2.7 war. However, 2019, a little bit of a different story for Bauer. That's when he went 11-13, and 13, a 4.48 ERA, 213 innings pitched, and a 1.1 1 .1 war. 2018, a bit of a bounce back. 12-6, and 2.21 ERA, 175 innings pitched, and a 5.8 war. So, if you look at his numbers here, he's a bit of a roller coaster. When this guy is on, especially last year, he is on. He's one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. But when he is off, he can have an ERA easily above 4.50. So there's some tremendous risk in signing Trevor Bauer. I'm also going to talk about some other things that kind of impact him negatively. Not to be a bit of a Debbie Downer, but here are some other things that go along with Trevor Bauer. First off is his attitude, and his attitude towards other players and teammates, in fact. He had a huge issue with Montero and everybody from that organization, and his toxic nature is what led him to be traded to the Reds in the first place. In fact, toxic and Trevor Bauer seem to come up over and over again. Another thing that should be pointed out was his batting uh, ERA last year, 1.73. Really amazing, but all the pitchers in the National League had great ERAs. Why? Because the batting stunk in the National League last year. The average... The actual average for a National League hitter last year, 215. So there's a lot of issues about whether or not Trevor Bauer is going to be able to respond to pitching in the very aggressive American League. And then finally, it's his coaches. The coaches have even labeled him as toxic. A lot of organizations, a lot of personnel that he's played for, he's just rubbed the wrong way. I think the most famous thing that we could revert back to is when he threw the ball over the center field fence. And I know I've said a lot of negatives here with Trevor Bauer, but I think we have to, especially if somebody's asking for a contract as big as him. And when we're talking about his contract, how much is Trevor Bauer going to want to get paid? Well, his big thing is he has this huge competition going on with Cole. And I'm not saying he's Cole. Garrett Cole is a much better pitcher, in my opinion. That's why he's making $36 million as an annual value with the Yankees. But Trevor Bauer really wants to exceed that, even if it's just for one year. So whatever team Annie's up for him is going to have to sign him for at least $40 million next season with an opt-out. And then he can walk on you, or you're going to have to keep him around for another six seasons on an average of $30 million a year. That's right, this guy is going to cost you seven years, $220 million to get him signed. That's a massive, massive risk for somebody who could have a huge ERA if it doesn't work out. And huge ERA, here's another number for you to chew on if $220 million doesn't save you. 6.39. That was his ERA with his first 10 starts with the Cincinnati Reds. That's right. Could you imagine paying him $30 million a year over the next six years if he has an ERA above five? That's a very scary risk and the type of contract that could eat up easily 20 to 25% of an entire team's budget, especially a team like the Jays. But in talking about the teams that could eat up that contract, take that risk with Trevor Bauer, here they are. You have the Toronto Blue Jays, and I just don't think that's going to happen. Especially now with us taking on George Springer. We just don't have the money to afford it. And we should be looking at somebody like Sonny Gray instead via trade. However, two teams that definitely have the money to ante up for him include the Dodgers. And that would be really interesting if he went there. 
And the team that I think he's probably going to sign with, and that's the Los Angeles Angels. I think they're really counting on Trevor Bauer to be that piece that's going to help them get into the postseason and be a postseason team that the Los Angeles Angels really should be. If you look at their team, it's just a head-scratcher of why they're not more competitive. And a lot of people believe that has to do with their pitching. And I'll throw out one last mystery team. Just somebody that's another team for you to chew on. I don't know if they have the money, but it's the Minnesota Twins. Really don't count them out either. But hey, let me know what you think of Trevor Bauer. Let me know if you think his social media is a problem, if his antics in the past outweigh that contract that he wants, or if you'd be really excited if he came to your team. And what team is that? Let me know in the comments below. Is it the Jays? Is it the Angels? Is it maybe a team that I haven't even mentioned yet? Will the Yankees just blow the luxury tax away and get Trevor Bauer? Or maybe it's the Mets? I don't think so. They got enough pitching already, especially the Padres. But hey, I'm always wrong as much as I'm right. But let me know. More importantly, I hope everybody stays safe out there. Hit subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk soon. Take care.